This is video number two in a series that I'm doing teaching you how to treat and get rid of carpal tunnel syndrome. In the series of three videos, I'm going to be showing four exercises. This is video number two, and it's going to be exercises number two and three. I'm Sam Trokey, Doctor of Physical Therapy with Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do two exercises, tendon gliding and sublima glides. So we've already screened your neck, maybe ruled that out as a source of your symptoms, and now we're going to start treating the actual wrist structures. Now we're going to move on to doing two exercises that are going to help mobilize some of the structures that are running through that carpal tunnel. We are going to do tendon glides and sublimus glides. Just sit down at a desk or a table. You're going to rest your elbow on the table. We're going to do tendon gliding first. There's basically four movements. The starting position is having your fingers completely straight, and you're going to return to this position after each movement. So for the first movement, you touch your fingertips to the end of your palm here, like that and then straighten them back out that way. So we touch here, and then we straighten our fingers back out. From there, you're gonna take your thumb and touch it over there. So the pinky side of the end of your palm, there. So far we've got first okay, there, and then thumb. Here, thumb. Next, you're gonna to touch the finger pads now to kind of that beginning part of your palm, this way, there. So to the beginning part of your palm with your fingertips, trying to keep these parts of your fingers straight, then back to the starting position. And then from there, we go thumb to the pinky side of the distant part of your palm. So far, we go here, straighten, thumb, back. Here, straighten the fingers, thumb to the pinky, back. Facing this angle, here, all the way straight, thumb over to the pinky side, back, then we're bending like this, all the way straight, thumb over the pinky side, and back. And for the final movement of the tendon gliding, you make a closed fist. So the fingers close, and then the thumb comes around and closes, and then it open, and then thumb, okay? So for that one, you're making a fist all the way closed, including the thumb, back, and then the thumb goes over to the pinky, and back. So all of those movements, here, open, thumb to pinky, open, first part of the palm, open, close fist, open, and then thumb, right? From this angle, finger pads to the end of the palm, open, thumb over and back, finger pads to the beginning part of the palm, all the way open, thumb over and back, closed fist, open, thumb over and back. Those are the four motions that go along with tendon gliding. You're going to do 10 to 15 repetitions and you're going to do this three times per day. So 10 to 15 repetitions per movement. This, that's one. Two. Three, and so on, until you get to 10 or 15. The next exercise on our list is called sublimus glides. To do sublimus glides, you put the symptomatic hand, side, palm up. We're just using our middle and ring fingers. With our other hand, we block the fingers that we're not mobilizing. And what we're going to try to do is touch the fingertip as far as we can. We're going to reach and try to touch the palm as far as we can down here. If you can't touch, don't matter. I'm not able to. Over time, it will get more mobile and loose. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
that was the middle finger. Now we're going to block every finger except the ring finger. Same thing, touching the fingertip, reaching down here as far as we can in the palm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's your sublimus glide. So once again, your setup. Take your hand, you put it palm up on whatever surface you're using. Symptomatic side is palm up. We're just going to be using the middle and ring fingers. With our other hand, we block every finger that we're not using. We only do one finger at a time. So right now, my middle finger is free. Blocking these fingers, I'm then going to take my middle finger and try to touch the fingertip down here into the palm as far as I can. If you're not able to touch, it's okay. Just do what you can. I block and then reach. Two, nice, slow, rhythmical fashion. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I block them all except the ring finger. Same thing. Ten to fifteen reps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. There's your sublimus glide. You're going to do that 10 or 15 repetitions each finger three times a day. I would do the tendon gliding first and then do the sublimus glide. So you're going to do those each, both the tendon glide and the sublimus glides, 10 to 15 repetitions three times per day. Give it time, you're going to get better. And if this feels tight and restricted, that will get better relatively quickly. And as it does, your symptoms should get better as well. I'm Sam Schrotke, Doctor of Physical Therapy with Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough, and I've just shown you how to do tendon gliding and sublimus glides for treating your carpal tunnel syndrome. Do these exercises 10 to 15 repetitions per movement, per exercise, two to three times a day. If you like what you've seen in the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the little bell, that way you're going to be notified every time we upload a new video showing you how to get rid of your pain. Like the video, share the video with your friends, and leave comments below. Let us know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, let us know. And if it helped you, definitely let us know that. And if it didn't help you, tell us that as well, because then I can suggest a modification to the exercise that might make it more beneficial to you, or I can suggest another exercise altogether that might be more appropriate for you.